Hi, I'm Matt Winter, and I'm fascinated by mosquito control. Mosquitoes are one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet, and they are so difficult to control. Today, I'm here with Dr. Phil Kaler, Professor Emeritus of Entomology from the University of Florida, who's been studying mosquitoes and how to control them for decades. Welcome, Professor. Thank you, Matt. It's certainly a pleasure to be here with you today to talk about the insecto mosquito trap. I am one of the inventors of this trap, and actually the University of Florida owns the rights to this trap and has licensed them to the Insecto Company. Excellent. And now, how did this idea come about? We developed this trap to protect our deployed warfighters from disease-carrying mosquitoes. It had to be something that was easily transportable and something that could be used in a wide variety of locations. So we did this to protect our troops. <laughs> that is amazing. So, Professor, can you tell us a little bit more about how this trap works? Now, I'm familiar with traditional mosquito control methods where you spray an entire yard with pesticides, and I understand that this is new technology. This is actually brand new technology where the insecticides are all on the inside of this trap. Basically, the insecticides are released in very low micro dose amounts, just enough to be able to kill mosquitoes and you can see I can hold this trap and not contact any of the insecticides because they're all on the inside of the trap. That's very important, <laughs> uh, especially to me and, and someone who has kids, you know, that you don't want to have to be handling pesticides. So how is the, the trap activated? How does, it, uh, how does it work once the mosquitoes get in there? Okay, the trap is actually activated by adding water. The addition of the water then allows the insecticide to start coming out of the coating on the inside of the trap. The mosquitoes are attracted to the trap because the mosquitoes prefer the colors red and black and mosquitoes are attracted to stagnant water. So we have a sachet of vegetation that makes the water smell like it's stagnant. So okay. the trap lures them in and then kills them. As any good trap should. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dr. Kaler, I noticed that this is a very unique shaped device and it has ridges on it that I'm guessing aren't just for holding it and there's a spout out front. Can you tell us a little more about the the design features of this? So the ribs are on the side and what they do is reduce airflow. By adding water you add humidity to the inside of the trap and you don't have a lot of airflow because of the ribs that also increase the surface area for the insecticide and places for the mosquitoes to rest. You can't overfill this trap because it has an overflow spout. Ah. If you try to put too much water in, guess what? It flows out and there's still room up top for the mosquitoes to be able to land and rest. The other thing is that because air movement through would increase evaporation, you would have to fill with water every now and then. This shape reduces the surface area so that there is not much evaporation of the water from the inside of the trap. The other thing is that we have an area here where you can hang the trap instead of placing it on the ground. If you wanna place it on the ground, the weight of the water holds it in place and that way it has less of a tendency to tip over than for instance, a cup that you would drink out of. So professor, if I have to have this on the ground, I understand that it's, it's weighted from the water and it, it won't tip over, but say I've got a dog that, that kicks it over. Is he gonna be safe if he drinks this water? Actually, this is a micro dose of embedded insecticides. And so there would be no hazard to the dog at all. And the reason for that is that we put in enough insecticide to kill the mosquitoes. And that actually is such a low amount that's released into the water. Also, you can't get to large quantities of the water because we have a grid on top. And even though you would want to, you may want to stick your finger down in there, you can't get to the part of the trap that, that's treated with insecticide. It's a, it's a very tight grid designed to keep people out and pets out and keep them safe. So Professor, I've got a pretty big backyard luckily, and how many traps would I need for this to cover you know, my whole backyard? Well, one trap will cover 1,500 square feet. So we usually re recommend that two traps be placed out in the yard because mosquitoes don't lay all of their eggs in one basket Interesting, <laughs> or yeah. one container or one trap. So we like two traps because that gives you a double chance of being able to capture the mosquitoes. Okay. But one trap per 1,500 square feet. Okay, and is there any specific place I should put the traps or maybe a place I shouldn't put the traps? 
Well, you want to go by the behavior of the mosquitoes. Mosquitoes like to be in shaded areas that are protected from wind. So most of the time you would want to place these traps in the shade. If you have it out in the sun, those eggs that the mosquitoes lay are going to get boiled. <laughs> and they don't like to lay their eggs in places where they're going to die, right? right? So you have to think like a mosquito in order to be able to place this trap effectively. I always hear about different types of mosquitoes. Does this uh, trap attract all the different kinds of mosquitoes that are out there? This trap is designed to mainly kill Aedes mosquitoes that are the ones that are found in urban areas around people's yards. So these live and breed in areas around their houses. Now is the Aedes mosquito, is that a mosquito that carries disease? The Aedes mosquitoes are actually very well known for, for being disease vectors. They can transmit dengue, chikungunya, and Zika virus, and yellow fever as well. So this trap basically takes care of all all of people's concerns over diseased mosquitoes in their yard. Well, it will help with the control of mosquitoes that are important disease vectors. So, Dr. Kaler, this product is, so far it sounds it sounds great, but what makes it what makes it the best product on the market right now? What is it about this product specifically that makes it stand out? Well, first of all, this product will last for 90 days or really about three months. So the insecticide, since it's protected and comes out slowly from the plastic polymer that's coated on the inside of the trap, it's something that provides long-term control where a lot of mosquito control products, you put them out, knocks the mosquitoes out of the air, but guess what? They're gone as soon as, the, as, soon as they stop spraying. And this would provide a longer term control of mosquitoes. That's excellent. Now, I understand that this product also kills the larvae of the mosquitoes. Is that correct? We did two things on this trap. We put in a larvicide that will not allow the eggs to hatch into larvae and then develop into biting adults. So if I look in the top here and I see the larvae in there, does that mean the trap's not working? Some people get curious and they pour the water out to see if there's okay. anything alive in there. You will see live larvae in the water because they're going to die when they pupate or turn into adult mosquitoes. That's fascinating. Now, how often do I need to change the water out to keep it working? No need to change out anything. You just top it off with water. And of course, it's good for three months. It's very easy. There's a calendar on the trap that you can just mark when you put the trap out, and then you know three months later to take a look and make sure that it's three months and you can just dispose of it then. I like to be friendly to the environment, and I like to use products that are eco-friendly. Can you tell me, is this product eco-friendly? Well, this product is made from recycled plastic, and not only that, it is recyclable, so after three months, when it's no longer active for mosquito control, it has a mark on the bottom saying that it is recyclable, so you can just throw it in your recycling and have it recycled, and we can make more traps out of it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> so, Professor, outside of my backyard, can this be used anywhere else? These can be used in a wide variety of areas. For instance, any place where mosquitoes are a problem is a good place to be able to put these. You may have problems on golf courses, maybe around commercial buildings, maybe apartment complexes and residential homes. You can use them just about anywhere you can think of where mosquitoes would be. <laughs> so if I say I've got a, a large uh, apartment complex and they also have misting and they do other treatment plans for mosquitoes, can we use this as well? This is actually compatible with other forms of mosquito control. So for instance, if the city comes down the street and sprays for mosquitoes with their fogging unit, that will just enhance the activity of this because there will be fewer mosquitoes left and this one will fill in once that ULV mist is gone. So it is very compatible with all of those other methods of mosquito control that are available. Excellent. So Professor, what about other beneficial insects that are, are good for the environment? Would this trap attract those and kill them? I've never seen a beneficial insect go into this trap. That's very good to know. A big question is a cost. How does this uh, trap compare to, you know, cost-wise to other mosquito control units on the market? Because I've seen some that are hundreds, even thousands of dollars for mosquito control, and that's a lot of money. I've seen those numbers also, that they, you can pay hundreds to thousands of dollars for mosquito control. This is the lowest priced product on the market right now. So, Dr. Kaler, where can I get this product? Where's the best place for me to find it? All you have to do is go to insecto.com on the web, 
and you can find the list of suppliers that can provide it to you. Professor Kaler, thank you so much for taking some time today to tell us more about the insecto mosquito trap. I have learned so much today. It has been an enlightening experience. And I hope you all at home have learned as much as I have about how great this product works and how safe it is for, for the environment and for your home.